Hey, true readers, this is Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome to my review of Wonder Woman number 34. Now, a few days ago, actually it was on uh, Thanksgiving, I reviewed Wonder Woman number issue 33, which was a very big disappointment. Except, at the very end, they set up the premise for issue 34, is that Darkseid did not have his daughter, Grail, kill Jason, son of Zeus. In fact, I think he somehow infected Jason, or did something to him. Because Jason turns out to be, well, y'all just sit, see when I get into the story. Now, what I want you to notice about this cover is Wonder Woman and Jason are far apart from each other, if you'll notice here on the cover. They're not embracing. So, and you see here, it says, At last, Jason, the brother of Wonder Woman, which gives us the impression Wonder Woman is going to meet her brother. So, if that would be the case then she would obviously embrace him, you know, as, as a sister would. Of course, this whole deal with Wonder Woman having a brother is strange to begin with. Anyway, on the cover, we see that they're not embracing. They're not even looking at each other. It looks like they're fighting each other. So, anyways, let's... Get into the story. This is Children of the Gods, Part 3, written by James Robinson, someone who probably needs to go back to writing school. This is Themyscira, many years ago. I like the first page, you know, crack, uh, crack of lightning hits the ground. And what we see is two of the Amazons sneaking off in the night. No, they're not sneaking off to make out. It says, um, through here, there's a boat. Wait, Athena, look around first. Do you see anyone? No, we're alone. The lookout patrol's already gone by at this time, and the rest of our sisters are long in their beds. Look, it's bad enough, as many of us know of the boy as it is. It worries you that much, Philippus? If more Amazons know, there are sisters. Oh, it's not the Amazons from whom I hide. Rather... I fear the gods themselves, whose eyes are everywhere. Then go! As far as you can, anyway. So she goes out, and she's to meet this guy who's going to take the boy. Now we wait, little one. He says... No, you don't. I'm here on the other side of this wall of light or whatever it is. That bird hawk your queen sent to me told me where to wait. Knew from the stars. Been waiting here a while, too. Cold night like this, so hurry up and hand the boy over. Guy sounds like a hillbilly. Galatius? Aye, sis me. I expected you'd sound younger. You're immortal, are you not? It's when you become so that the, that's the thing. I already lived my share and then some before I stopped aging. But enough for me. Let's be about our business so I can get home. Hand him over. 
and uh, Flippus says, "You, you know what's expected of you, ha? Huh. More, more than me and your queen have been exchanging words via pigeon and hawk for a good while." Then it's as Queen Hippolyta must have discussed with you. You'll raise him to manhood, and he'll never know where he was from. And he says, Of that I make no promises. The boy will know what I tell him. Comes the time I deem it so. And if I say that's unacceptable? Yes. He's, uh, he's, he says, uh, he says, Then... Take the baby in your boat and be off with you. Get back home or not. It's of no mind to me. Here then, have him. Does he have a name, this one? Yes, Queen Hippolyta was very adamant on the matter, too. A name you'll like, though based on your own past exploits. The boy's name is... Jason! Present day. So, Queen Hippolyta was... She, I guess she screwed around with Zeus, and as a result, produced a boy, instead of a girl. Okay, I, I'm, I know this is out of the Dark Side War, but I have not read that story, so I don't know what all it involves. So this is really screwy and confusing to me. And, uh, brother, I can't believe I've found you. Did you ever know that you had a brother? Wonder Woman, my sister... And so she lowers herself down and says, Diana, my name's Diana. Say it, please. I want to hear you say my name. Hmm. Domineering as ever, I guess. Diana. And he, he almost embraces her like a, like a lover in a way, which is kind of creepy. I had hoped this day would come. Every time I saw you on the news, the amazing feats you performing, you performed, and all the good you did. I prayed the day we'd be together. You knew of me? Why didn't you contact me? I couldn't. Diana, I'm sorry, but I swore an oath to the man who raised me, Galatius, the Eros not, an Eros not, I have no idea what that word is, yes, my father, as good as, if he's still alive, that makes him an immortal by eating enchanted herbs while a crewman on the Argo yes that's right in fact I often wonder if our mother named me after the original Jason because she knew who'd raise me and I have no idea who the original Jason is but of course I've never been able to ask her and she sort of looks at him with sympathy because she knows why she can't. And um, she was supposed to say, I thought she said, uh, well, maybe I'm missing, missing it. But I thought she said at some point that there, she Figured at one figured out at one point that she could not go back home to Themyscira, so she couldn't answer 
to that. Anyways, over here he introduces his mates, and she says, gentlemen, and then that one in the uh, red, with the red beard says, oh, we're hardly that, mistress, but in your presence, we'll endeavor to try, and then Jason says, hey, Stevie, I think we've caught enough for today, don't you? We take her in, I want some time alone with my sister. Oh, of course, Jason. Although, um, are you sure you have to go? We've just met her and, well, uh, it's not every day we meet one woman. Come on, baby, it's not every day I meet my sister for the first time. Er, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm being an ass. And he said, and she says, I don't understand, Jason. How are we not, how are we going anywhere without your boat? Unless you want me to carry you, I could if you. He says, we're twins, Diana. I don't have all your powers from what I've seen, nor do you have all of mine. But we can both fly. So they fly away and they go to this uh, castle that was once used by the Knights of Templar and then later by a monk and, and then they start conversing. And this might be here where uh, she tells him about the, the mascara. Because uh, she says, uh, yeah, he says, nice view. I'm confused, she says, about you knew who I was, but because of a promise you never contacted me? I understand making an oath, but I'm your sister, so you should know Galatius not only told me who my father is, but also my who my mother is, but also my real father, Zeus. Zeus, exactly. He also told me how vengeful our father's wife, Hera, could be to those like us. And he says, Before you appeared in the world, before I, I admit I was scared of who I was, when I saw you fighting this villain and that menace, I just wasn't sure what to do. I mean, I only half believed you were, even were my sister. So, how do we do this? I mean, they're almost acting like they're flirting in a way, which is kind of disgusting. It can take people years to get to know each other. And Jason says, One moment at a time, I suppose. Can I just say... How happy I am that you didn't get my nose. <laughs> and that, that, that was kind of funny. And she says, No, but I'd quite like to be taller. But even so, Diana is, you know, Pretty kick ass as it is. And then over in Argus HQ, there's a Steve Trevor. Says, Can't say how long I've been here at Argus, Sasha. Maybe a while or no time at all. You know when I know. Colonel Trevor, I mean, Master Chief. Just Steve. Keep it simple. I know you're awaiting word from Wonder Woman, but I thought you'd want to know. I mean, it was her who stopped Giganta, and now with everything else going on, you're not making sense, Pearl. Come on, get it straight. The relics that Giganta stole, 
and there's Giganta. You know, Wonder Woman beat her, beat her up pretty bad for, you know, someone who wants to be taller. At least the ones, w when we recovered, when Wonder Woman caught her in Los Angeles, flashback, it was ancient, iron and copper, mainly, but some of it, some of the metal in its core is from, da da da, -da Apocalypse. The very hell of a planet that Dark Side is from. It is a nice view, she says. Why did my mother send me away, he says. I understand the reason I was told. Hera's jealousy and how a boy... As a boy, I'd be impossible to hide on Themyscira. Galatians said as much. But she never visited visited me, not once. I wish I had an answer, Jason. I do. Oh, yeah, here's where she says, but what I was thinking. She simply may not have been able to. I've learned recently that it's impossible to simply come and go from Themyscira. So, as much as I'd love to give you the answers, the clarity you seek, I simply can't. And uh, even though this is a very strange story, the artwork does make up for it. You know, the detail in Wonder Woman's face, like down here, in the character that they're giving this uh, Jason dude he says how did you find me anyway Hercules was killed by Grail I believe a half Amazon but also the daughter of Darkseid the evidence suggests she's systematically murdering all of Zeus's children here on earth Hercules left me your whereabouts among his possessions. I met him as a boy. I, I didn't know he died. Why would you? You barely mentioned our father either, Zeus. Huh, our father Zeus, in saying, you know how to reach him at least. He knows I'm alive. I'm certainly... I've certainly felt his manipulations. But no, he could have been standing right next to me, and I'd have no idea. Doesn't sound like he's much help to any of our brothers and sisters either, if what you say is true. Have You have this man, Galatius, at least? And he flies off and says, No, He's gone to. We're alone. She says, no. Not now. Not anymore. We have each other. Come on. can What's wrong Wrong with this dude? I mean, it's almost like they're... Like I said, it's like they're flirting. And by the way, if Grail attacks and we're a team, we have a better... A much better chance of defeating her. You fly, obviously. What other powers do you have? He says, super strength like you. Maybe not as strong. She says, you said before you have powers that I don't? That I, that I didn't? Maybe more akin to Zeus? He says... I'll show you later. For now, let's talk more about who we are, not what. And the, the, this uh, view right here, you know, at the top of those cliffs, very good. Look at the beautiful, clear sky. I noticed the blonde man with you on many of your exploits. Trevor is his name? Steve Trevor. The first man I ever met, it's because of him I left 
the mascara. And he's in the military. Now this is the one thing that I've seen Rob, the, the writer do, which is a, which is good. A while back, Greg Rucka said that Diana did not leave Themyscira because of Steve Trevor. When in fact, she did because she had to return him to the world of man. And now, she just said that he is the reason that she left Themyscira. Ha! He has a lot of ranks, wears a lot of hats. He says, do you love him? I think so. And does he love you? Yes, I'm pretty certain. Now this is where it gets a little cringy. The way she looks back at him. Almost like she's making a, I don't know, trying to be a smart ass or something. She says, what about you? Do you have a wife? A boyfriend? A girlfriend? Have you ever been in love? I mean, seriously? You had to go there? And he says, love? It's hard to say. Lovers? Yes. Never married, though. Been sing being single is too much fun. In other words, he likes to get it on. And so they jump down from the, or they they fly down from the wall, and she and, and asks, you know, if if he's content being a fisherman, and you know, and how how does she hand how does he handle you know the powers that he has, and he says that he's fought in a menace or in bad guys and you know here and there, and. He says that his uh, his uh, father, Galatius, conditioned him from birth to keep a low profile. And Wonder Woman says, I wonder why Mother chose him. I, and he says, I guess neither of us will know now for sure, but if I had to guess, because Galatius was one of the last two surviving aeronauts among, along with Hercules. The thing is, though, he gained his immortality from eating enchanted herbs, whereas any other whereas any other immortals from ancient Greece that I can think of were gifted eternal life from the gods in some way. He says, "I think Mother liked the fact that Glacius was under the radar, but also that he understood the old ways and old gods, specifically Hera." I'm sorry, Hercules is dead. He stayed here with us from time to time, trained me to fight a favor to his shipmate, Galatius, the, the dude who raised him. And now he's gone. Yes, and he's not the only one. Like I said, all of Zeus's children are being targeted. Now this is a good, good shot, you know, from the, from the sky. Like someone looking down on them in the the nice green sh shade of the grass and the afternoon sun. And he says to her, The sun's beginning to set. Shouldn't we be getting back? I'll contact Steve and see if Argus has uncovered any new. Then the appointed time has arrived she says what does that mean because she then suspects something is not right and then we hear this from Jason it means wonder woman that all this talk has been little more than a facade a lure like when I fish Jason? It means you're nothing but a stranger to me. 
I've done fine without you up till now. We share the same blood, sure, but that's all. In fact, and you see this figure coming through what looks like a portal. There's someone else I feel much more of a kinship to. And who's that? Grail! She comes right through the the boob tube the, the boom tube and hits Wonder Woman across the jaw. Finally some action! Let's get it on. <laughs> and she's no more fond of you than I am. And so now that the action is starting, Wonder Woman is getting into the game. She says, Grail, so this is your plan. You and Jason. I confess, I hoped when I fought you, I'd be alongside my brother. And instead, you fight against me. It doesn't have to be so. Oh, and then there's a this there's a really good scene coming up. I don't know why you're doing this, but you don't. How naive are you? I've hated you the very thought of your existence. I can't bear to look at you. And then she says, "Then get out of my sight." And whoosh, there he goes. I mean, she is strong. She may want to be taller, but she is one strong, badass woman. And Grail comes back and says, Is that anger I detect? And she uses her Omega Beams, which, you know, they're wild. They can go in, in, in any direction. Did Jason just break your heart? And I love this. Wonder Woman says, I'll break you, maniac. She grabs her by the throat. Says, you've been killing Zeus's children. One by one. And then, bam! She goes, it ends now! Body slam down against the uh, the rocks in the ocean, and then she's hit back with she's she, she gets up. I know she's not hit, but she gets up out of the water and says, "So, so, which of you wants to fight me?" And then she looks up and says, Jason? And this is his power. Look at that. Although I think the writer got some of this wrong. He says, You wanted to know my other powers, sister. Our father was the god of the sky, the air, air pressure which can create a tsunami. I thought that was Poseidon's ability. And I th wasn't he the king of the sea? And then that big uh, tsunami drowns her, and you can see she's like... <laughs> it ends now. And then she's, there's one woman laying on the rocks. Grail attacks. It's just getting started. I have to say, Jason remarks, I thought this would be harder. I'm disappointed also. And she calls herself an Amazon. Pathetic. And she, Are you really going to do this, Jason? Wonder Woman says. Let this 
disgusting witch kill your only sister? And he says, we're not going to kill you yet, Diana. You're needed, but don't worry. When the time comes, it'll be me that does it. Next, the story of Jason. So that was Wonder Woman 34. The pluses about this issue, the artwork. It, it stood out. It made me take notice, especially when the fighting started. And the fighting was fast, good, hard, but I wish there had been more of it. But the, the dialogue leading up to that was kind of bland and boring. So that's what I thought of Wonder Woman number 34. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And do not forget, if you're not subscribed to Spirit Comics now, please do so. And smash that bell like She-Hulk. Like this review if you enjoyed it. And share it with someone who might also enjoy it. Till next time, true readers.